Hey, in this adventure, I installed the quad lock wireless charging head and the quad lock waterproof USB smart adapter. All right, so here we are on the bike. Uh, this is the existing quad lock. Um, so yes, my phone connects up to that. Um, and then I have over here, you can see it. Um, over here we have uh, what I have been using for my charging. That's two USB. It had a case, a cover on it. The cover broke off a long time ago. I want to replace that. Uh, so I have uh, power for my GoPro. Um, and then I'm going to put it, so I need to put a Y in so I can power both of these devices. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is uh, remove this side, remove that center, see if I can get to where the wires are. I use my handy dandy knob key. Got a separate video for how to make those. Uh, so I have the pocket moved out of the way. You can see some of my LED lighting wiring in there. So I have LED headlights and, and low beams. But right around the corner in here, I have this SAE plug. Now one of these is the one with the power. Looks like I got disconnected. I didn't have it disconnected before. There, you can kind of see in the corner there. There's one with the power. This one is supposedly routes to the handlebars. Yep. All right, so here's what's happening. I have this uh, splitter. That, like I said, I do have a, a SAE cable coming up in here. And it's something I routed when I uh, changed the air filter. I'd had it in here kind of temporarily before. Um, so now I'm going to try to use it without taking everything apart. Now I have loosened up things. See, I removed a few of these. Oh, you can't see that on the camera. I removed a few bolts to loosen this up uh, so it'd be easier to pull through. So next I'll hook up this Y connector and then what I'm going to do is take uh, the existing one, right, this one here, looks just like this. I'm going to take that and pull that through and I'm going to tape my other cables on it so I can pull it all through without having to take everything apart. We'll see if that uh, that works. Hopefully it does. Right, according to the directions, I remove the existing piece and then I reinstall. Hmm. It does seem different here though. There's no there's no blue piece on there to lock it. Right, so I looked at the directions a little closer and basically you instead of having this this blue piece that you push on that releases the tension the entire um, wireless charging head you just uh, see how you can see it here you just have to reach in push on it and then it'll turn so it still locks in place it's just not using that blue thing that sticks out so far so that makes me wonder if this is the right, I guess that's the right. I bet I want to rotate this 90 degrees. Yeah. So it looks like if you want it, depending on which way you want it, you want to mount these oriented so you can push that down so it pushes down you push that down and release it so right here if i have it um portrait no problem landscape i need to rotate the head um, and i usually like my phone landscape so time to rotate it so with this blue you still have to orient it the way you want right because if you put it this way it's behind it so it's the same kind of thing it's just these little wings on both sides it's a little bigger i guess so you need something more than the that little blue lever but it just push twist no problem and then rotating it i just loosened up that uh this bolt here just put my arm in a way i just loosen this up a little bit rotate it tighten it back down 
easy peasy. So now I know where my cord needs to orient. I need to bring my cord in here. So that tells me because uh, the kit came with different cords. Um, so these, uh, this one is just straight at it, which might work fine. And there's also a 45. So I need to figure out which one I want to use. Um, there might be some different links. Which one I want to use uh, to hook up to this before I pull it through. So as I'm going through this, I just realized that uh, this is what I would have to pull through. So I'm gonna cut, I'm gonna cut this and then use that to pull through the, the cables so that this, this new one stays on this side. So I'll get all these three ends together and I'm gonna tape them all together like this and then pull it through. I'm gonna cut this off. I won't, I won't need this. This is really nice if you, you know, might unplug it, you keep it clean. Uh, but since this is gonna be inside the bike, it's gonna be better to pull it without that on there. So I'll cut that off, tape everything up and pull it. Oh, I did take a second to uh, to plug everything in before routing the cables, just to make sure everything worked. Uh, this fast charger does say that it's uh, not compatible with my phone when I plug it in. As far as fast charge, it'll charge at normal speed. Uh, hopefully that is sufficient. If not, I'll be very sad, um, but that is what I have. So, okay, now it's time to tape them and pull them through since it has been tested so everything works uh, again not positive that the the fast charge is going to be fast or the wireless charge is going to be fast enough but it's 10 watts i think this phone requires 15 to be fast but i thought it was fast and super fast or ultra fast or whatever it is um so we'll see how that works all right so now i have everything taped up i do that i can pull it through uh, again i can do this because i'm replacing a cable i spent all the time uh, when i did the uh, air filter you can watch that video uh, when I replace the air filter I routed these cables well uh, so I'm hoping this works out so I can not have to take all this off like I did before and then route it uh, if I if I can't I'll, I'll route it rough and then um, just fix it next time I change the air filter we'll see if I can pull this through now so the finessing it uh, by pulling wire through didn't work so I had to find a spot Found this spot right here. Found this spot right here. Ran the cables through. It's really tight, um, but I, I got them through. So then I'll just uh, cable tie them up so that everything works out well. That's how I got those through. So now it's all about cable management. Putting all this back and tightening up all the bolts. So I did have to loosen up a good bit. So I got some room. At least I think I did. Maybe it didn't. Wasn't needed. But um, that's what I did. So I've been real happy with this uh, wireless charging head. One reason I got it is, uh, as you saw earlier, the, uh, the what I was using the charge died. Um, by not having that thing covered, it got too much water in that uh, USB port and eventually stopped working. So with the wireless charging head, um, it's not gonna get water in it. Even the, the cables uh, have some waterproofing on it. So I don't really have any fear with that because I ride whether it's raining or not. I often get trapped in a big downpour and just have to keep going. Uh, so this should allow me to always charge my phone. And if the weather is bad, I can put the cover over my USB ports and then either use my GoPro just on battery or not have my GoPro on. If it's raining real bad, the video is not that good. Uh, the uh, USB smart adapter has been working out great as well. Basically, if the engine's not running, that turns off the power to the charging head. So there's not just a drain on the battery the whole time. So it's been working out great. I took it to Shreveport for the last wing ding. So that's been wonderful. And I am going to take it this to uh, Sturgis now. So this is Redbeard. Until my next adventure, see you on the road.